I think, in all honesty, Steve hit home harder than any book, than anybody, any yeah, any other member, purely because it is just that. We were all mates as kids, and suddenly I am the last person that's alive from that band. It's just staggering, and uh, I actually felt so gutted when Steve died because I'd seen that he had, um, he had respiratory problems I believe, it was pneumonia and with these things it's normally over quite quick so two three weeks and somebody that's it but with Steve it went on for a long time and I thought he's over it now he's done it yeah I thought he'll, he'll be he'll, he'll, he's, he's, he's coming out of this and when he died oh it was it was just and it is because as you say I then it's it's absolutely staggering to think that there I was, as a 20 year old lad, yeah, 20 year old, 21, 20 year old lad with Mick, Brian and Steve, we had this little group and there we were, uh, we, had, we were playing great clubs in London, you know, I say about we're doing some of the rubbish stuff with the, uh, with, with the youth clubs, but the, so we did great clubs in London, we did stuff like Blazes, Samanthas, these are like really happening places, you know. And so we were doing all that, and, and we were working with the bands that were coming up at the time. Don't get me wrong, we weren't working with the likes of, um, uh, uh, of say, like Yes, and bands like that. But we were working, we were like coming up just under that run. And so to, to think that then, all of a sudden, Brian died, wasn't expected, but he died. Nick died, but when Steve died, I don't know, Steve died. He's made that, he's over 70 mark, and, and, and it's, it's, it's cracked the pneumonia thing. And as you say, to think that I am, the, it's, it's just that it seems odd to think that there we were, and I'm the only remaining person alive from that group. Yeah, it's incredible, incredible. Yeah, yeah. So, so